Hey guys, how's it going? So this is going to be the start of This Weekend in Lawn Care number two. Um, I have a couple of yards to do this weekend. Um, as you can see, that Husqvarna is still here. It's not so new. I did that video on the unboxing video. Um, I have decided I'm not going to um, buy the same mower. I'm just going to turn it and get my money back for it. Because through reading some reviews on Consumer Reports, the HU800 all-wheel drive is only rated about 55 out of 100. Um, yeah, I have a Consumer Reports membership because I have a lot of lawn equipment and, you know, I before I purchase something big, I do read the reviews. Um, or not reviews, but Consumer Reports ratings. Just because I don't want to waste my money on something that's only going to last a couple of years in my use. So unfortunately this is going to be going back um, and something else is coming to be um, in place of it. <clears throat> I will be getting a, another self-propelled mower, um, not a Husqvarna though, or an all-wheel drive mower, just a, another rear-wheel drive. Um, if you guys have been watching the comments on the video, on the unboxing video, um, I've been talk. I've been going back and forth, or not going back and forth, but um, just talking about the um, Toro with personal pace system. I would get a Toro, but what two reasons? First of all, it's got the same. The one that I would get has the same motor. Uh, is that Troy built that I just returned that was burning oil after four times worth of use. So I don't think I want to get that engine again. And then two, I don't, um, well really I'm not a fan of the personal pace system because as you push it, the mower starts, to, like, let's say this has personal pace, it doesn't, but you push down on the handle, well the mower starts to move and then it moves farther away from you as you push harder on the handle. Well, then it's real jerky because you're speeding up and slowing down, and I had a chance to try it out, and I, I just wasn't a fan of the personal pace system. I prefer the um, thumb drive on the Honda here, or um, just a, like even this kind of system here. Like you can see on here, it has the two bars um, on the handle, so... Um, yeah, that's what's going on with this. It's probably, I think I'm taking it back tonight. I, I might take my camera when I go up to Lowe's tonight. I'm not sure, but definitely not something from Lowe's. And this is the second mower I've had from Lowe's. It's going to be returned, so I don't know what the deal is. But anyways, um, yeah, that's what's going on. So I decided to start it early today. Um, and... Of course, whenever I do get any more, I will show it to you. Um, I'll probably take it whenever I go to the store. Just so you know, it's not going to be from Home Depot or Lowe's. It's coming from an actual dealer, let's say. Um, so, shouldn't have any issues with it. And it's also going to be um, self-propelled rear-wheel drive, like I said. Um, so, yeah, um, I might, I'll probably do, it's not going to come in a box because it's coming from a dealer, so I won't do an unboxing video, but if I take my camera, um, I'll probably do a little bit of mowing with it at my new job, um, not my new job, but at a job I have this weekend, just to see how it works, um, so yeah, I'm not going to be babbling about that right now, so. Um, anyways, I will see you tomorrow morning probably. If I don't do any recording tonight, it lives. So I'll see you tomorrow. Alright guys, so we're about to load up the uh, Husqvarna mower here to take back to Lowe's. Um, we got the tailgate open on the truck. And we are just waiting for my dad to come out. Then I'm going to put this in the... Um, <clears throat> in the back of the truck and take that back. In case you're wondering how much this costs 
four ninety nine. Yeah, not cheap. So, um, getting something a bit less expensive. So tomorrow I'm just gonna be using that Honda there. Um, and then after my job, go into the dealer to pick up a new mower. I don't know. I'll probably have my camera with me. I'm not sure, but anyways, um, just a little update. Um, I'm not going to be taking the camera up with me to Lowe's just because they don't like you recording in the store. So, Anyways, I will see you uh, probably tomorrow. Hey guys, so today is Saturday. Uh, I just got back from mowing one of my yards. Um, and I went to the um, equipment dealer in town, got a new mower. Oh, it's a pretty sweet mower. It's not that. I'll tell you, it is another Honda, though. Yep. Yep, I got a Honda Harmony 2 HRS 216 um, SDA. And it's got a throttle and a transmission. It's self propelled. It's got a throttle, a transmission lever, and then the stock lip, the. Um, the control lever, so yeah, just in the back of my dad's truck here. Um, so let me get everything out and then we can do a more in depth walk around of it. And also a cold start, or not a cold start, a warm start because I just got home. So yeah, let me get out and then we can start it up and look at it. Alright, guys, I got the um, mowers out of the truck. And so far, so yeah, this is the overview of it. Um, yeah, like I was saying, it has the blade control, which is the start and stop for the motor. And this is the clutch bar, which basically just engages and disengages the transmission. And then it's got a throttle that's all the way for that's full throttle, and then push it as far as it'll go, and that's choke. And it's got a fuel shutoff valve right there. Nice thing is the guy at the dealer filled it up with gas for me, so I didn't even have to put gas in it, and they already had oil in it because it, they put oil in all the machines when they get them. So yeah, um, I guess we could do a little startup of it. Get this camera set on the other mower. I'll put it to about half throttle probably. This is idle. Full throttle. And the set up. So yeah, it starts up first pull, which is good. Then again, it has been running today, so. Yeah, and I might do a little bit of mowing on video later with it. Um, when I need to mow my yard, because it's already tall again um, since the last time. So, yeah, um, be it for this little part here. Um, so probably the next part will be mowing with the new mower. Alright guys, so we're going to do a little bit of mowing with the new Honda mower. Uh, we are going to set the camera and speed up the video and record some mowing footage. Um, this is the first time I've done like a whole video of mowing, or a whole, uh, record the whole time I'm mowing. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and set the camera somewhere and get to mowing.
guys so that's it for this weekend in lawn care um, I hope you enjoyed um, seeing what all I was up to um, it was fun making all the videos um, we got a lot done um, and yeah if you have any questions about anything I'm doing or you want to know um, anything about my new mower here um, feel free to post a comment below um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the 
video of it um, working in the yard. Uh, it works really well. Um, anticipate a review video coming up probably in the next month or so. Um, once I get using it a few more, another couple of hours or so to kind of really get to know everything about it. Um, but yeah, it's a great mower so far. Um, glad I got it in, instead of getting that Husqvarna because this one's rated a lot better than the Husqvarna. But yeah, um, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to post a comment. Um, and you will probably see me in my next, um, this weekend in lawn care, number three, coming up next weekend. Hope you guys enjoy watching. Um, as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.